Hey you, it's Jessie and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing the May budget as well as closing out the April budget. Now I've covered up my income sources here just so we're not going to go through those or the um, income totals down here. But I did get my bills paid. Oh. So I want to put in some of the things and finish off April before we go into May. I think some things are going to change, but we will we will see. So when it comes to rent, where is it? <laughs> I've rented down some here. We go. So I ended up paying four euros and four cents extra just because that was weirdly left over from the last month. So I just um, paid that off. So it's all covered. Now, I think that was Shopify, but then I had to do Shopify fees. I'm not sure it was actually included. Uh, the, oops. The fees will be... I want to include them. <laughs> I guess in here. So that was 47.88. Alright. So... I'm not putting in my Etsy fees just yet. Then that's all I'm putting in here. And I have extra optus, yep. So that's good. I'm gonna I just have a list over here <laughs> of things that I wanted to put in for my accounts. That's in, that's in. Um, and then these are in. Boop de boo. Boop. Okay, so now I've been filling out kind of monthly. I lost my colorful pen. <laughs> while doing this month, so it kind of went a bit crazy at the end here. Um, but I did buy at the Erin Condren new sale, like a pack of colorful pens, and I think I'm going to keep them all together and use them when I budget. Uh, I won't be continuing using this planner in July, because I did pick up the Daily Duos, and they have both the monthly and this dashboard stuff in it. So I thought I could put together my dailies and my budgeting into the one planner. So that's what I'm going to do. But we're going to continue using this up until July. Alright, so I'm just going to add all these together. Then I'm going to turn them into euro, put them here, turn them into euros. Um, and put it down here into my main thing here. So I'm just going to do the off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so I, I added them all up. I had some Australian, some Euro, then I had to change both to both sides and add them all together. We are streamlining this for me. By the way, I have a very weird income of like two shops and customs. And then weird Euro and Australian dollar, if you didn't see my last April budget. So <laughs> this is not your typical budget. But I put it in on an Australian uh, totals here and I went way over my spending this month <laughs> um, it's pretty bad we're going to adjust for May so let's put this in yes I went to 200 for SPC and I ended up uh, spending 300 that's probably be because of the bundle that came out that's all right though <laughs> it's only $100 off so we can bring that back in next month um, Food that went way over because of takeaway seven sixteen twenty five. You also got to take into account that these estimates were only very rough and they were um, taken from what I spent in Australian dollars only. So now I have euros. Euros are way stronger than Australian dollar. Um, so I'm putting the Australian totals here, but I'm about to put in the euro totals as well, and you'll see a big difference there. And then shopping was also, gosh, I blew this one out of the water. I estimated 200 or gave myself. And I spent apparently 751.49. So the food also included a month's worth of cat food and grocery deliveries and orders and stuff. And then shopping also included the new Erin Condren, um, El Gato, something from El Gato, which is expensive. And I brought some, I got some um, $2 Tuesday stuff that ended up being a lot. <laughs> so, oh gosh, now I have to do the total. 
We're readjusting that budget next month. Now I gotta say also my estimates are based on the minimum amount of income that I plan, that I hope to get. Um, and I did go above my minimum income for both shops. Um, I think around the normal price uh, income for customs. So technically this is so I can comfortably live within my minimum and then obviously I overspent because I made more money. But that's what I would like to aim for so I can have more savings, but we'll get to that. Um, we're going to put these all together, which is truly horrific. <laughs> the same on food pretty much is shopping. Oh dear. So instead of 900, it was... 17, 68, 52. Test, test, test. Alright, so then in the European, um, SPC was 274.11 cents. And food was 425.72. And shopping was 446.95. Which feels a lot better, but <laughs> still a lot. So I do have my total for fixed payments here. So that's the estimate. So let me just um, add all these together and turn the Australian into euros. And I'll just, and I'll be right back because you don't want to see me do all that. So I'm having a drink. Um, yeah, so. My Australian fixed payments ended up being higher because I had to do some extra Optus bill um, based on some overage that I truly believe is BS. <laughs> but I just I, I was just gonna pay it off rather than fight Optus, so I had an extra big chunk of money there that I had to pay for that. So that ended up bumping me right up from the estimate one thirty nine to one ninety one, and then. Um, I actually paid like less for my SIM card um, for the month. Paid a little bit more for rent. Paid less for the Shopify, but then I they kind of got made up and put over by um, my Shopify transaction fees, which I did not have the month before. Like this was my first month running my Shopify, so yeah. Then I had those extra fees. I don't know why I thought um, the tran transaction fees were for Shopify payments, but apparently they're not. So I get PayPal fees and Shopify fees, which is a little bit annoying, but I think they're still less than Etsy. Or at least on Shopify, my art doesn't get stolen. <laughs> so that was all those payments there. And I looked, and I think the only amount I actually saved was 700 Australian. So I still was able to put 700 in the bank. Um, but how much was that in euros? So I was able to add, oh gosh, this pen's not liking me right now. I only just started it, why? 416 at 20. So if we add that to what we already have in savings, we have 16, 57 plus 416 at 20 cents equals, now we have 2073.20. So, we're going extra, we're into the next bracket to have 6,000 euro goal of savings this year. So, huzzah! <laughs> um, so I'm going to do all these big totals at the end savings. So, end savings, I think I'm just going to put the same here. Uh, yeah, just because you like to have it as a reference here. So payment, that's that. That's seven, ten, fifty, and then we'll add the spend. Okay, so that was the spending, but obviously we're leaving the ink cup out. But that is April all finished up. I think I might do. Should I do two like little videos? So this is April. Um, I'm gonna put up May as well, so you can go and check out May at the same time. So definitely go check out that video, but I don't want to make it so long that you don't want to 
and you'll watch both budgeting. But if you want to check out setting up me, that'll be in up on my channel at the same time as this one. So you can go watch that later or right now. But I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to give it a like and um, subscribe if you haven't already. I do plan to continue doing some of this budgeting because it is useful to have here. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. I'm definitely going to, you know, work on making it better. I think once I get the daily duo in and I start in July, and I think obviously I'm going to start using the nice pens in June and everything. Um, but May is going to be a bit more cobbled together as well. But we'll figure it out. But yes, I uh, hope you liked it. Comment below and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.